What is happening boys? Welcome to another player review. Today we have the road to the final Antoine Griezmann. Obviously a live card depending on how Barcelona do in February. Could be going up to a 90. Um, but looking against his base card on Footbin, um, he's had a plus 4 pace upgrade, a plus 2 shooting upgrade, plus 4 passing, plus 2 dribbling, plus 2 defending and a 2 on his physical stats as well. Um, so looking looking nice. Obviously, the 79 pace on the base card was uh, the reason you don't see him in weekend league this year. But looking at these in-game stats, um, we've now got 84 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, which should be more more suitable. Uh, shooting of 91 attacking positioning, 90 finishing, 83 shot power, 84 long shot, 89 volley, and 88 penalties. Um, passing's looking nice. 89 vision. 87 crossing, 89 free kick accuracy, 88 short pass, 86 long pass, 90 curve, he's got it all in the passing, all in the dribbling, 93 agility, 85 balance, 94 reactions, 91 ball control, 89 dribbling, 91 composure. Defending doesn't really matter, he's got the head and accuracy if we get an opportunity along with a 92 jumping, 88 stamina which is good. Um, 60, 65 strength is okay um, but he has got that 75 aggression and we all know Griezmann on FIFA he is aggressive he does try to win the ball back um, if he loses it as we'll see in the clips now finesse shot trait outside foot shot trait this guy should be deadly in the box let's see how he performs first opposition here then we are playing the one league icon swaps um, game type at the moment uh, trying to keep everything into a competitive game mode at least for these reviews. Uh, so let's go. Uh, chesting out his dribbling here. Nice, lovely sharp turns on the ball. Loving that. Lovely. Nice pass to Beckham here. It's Kappa, Williams, looking for that overlap. Back to Griezmann. Yeah, he's nice, he's nice on the dribbling, lovely close control. Really good Finds Kappa, unfortunately the shot was blocked. We'll try him out on this set piece. See if he can find Koundé with a good delivery. Whips it in and good delivery. And lucky on the headers, but headers are hard this year to score in his defence. Picking up here then, ball in the halfway line. Off the ball run. Good battling from Antoine. Can he finish that? Oh! That fight though, that aggression the showing there to win the ball back, and what a finish. With that medium medium work rate, you've got to, you've got to manually tap O1 to get him to make those runs. Uh, it's the only slight negative of the card so far. Otherwise, I'd say he's, he's good overall. So here we go then, 1-0 up. Looking to try and seal the win. It's building up slowly. You can see Griezmann started so deep there. And work rate's coming into play. You see, look, I'm having to press L1 all the time to get him to make that run. But he does he does find a good ball into Beckham. What a goal. Two nil. Oh, we've got a we've got a pause and we get a rage quit. Well done. Great performance there from from Griezmann. Passes twelve out of fourteen. Lovely. Dribbles twelve out of thirteen. Yeah. Crosses don't count on the corners. Shots on target. Four out of five. Great. Gets himself a system and a goal. <coughs> and let's go into the second game of the review. Um, coming up against the team here. Premier League, Kante, Mane, Son, Salo. Good opposition. Uh, start of this game then. Griezmann just wasn't making those runs enough in the camp position. Um, we were having to press, press manual run too much. So we thought we'd give him a try up front. Switch it up, see if that uh, striker position you know, works with his attacking positioning to make him make those runs more often. So we just continue with that with the new close. switch. You can see Griezmann already there, just making another one up. Pressure, lovely, wins the ball. Takes it off the uh, Son that was I think. Into Bex. Bex looking for the space. De Jong. Lovely De Jong. That run from Griezmann though. Can he find him? Yes he can. Fake shot. And the corner. Oh what a finish. On that weak foot as well. Showing that he can finish on the three star. And I think we're going to get a rage quit. Yes we do. Lovely. Stop dead dribbling there from Griezmann. And then finesses with that weak foot on his, on his uh, weak foot. It was lovely. 
And on to the third and final game. Sorry, we've lost the uh, clip there of the opposition team. I'm still getting used to the recording side of things. But uh, we stuck with Griezmann up front in this one. Obviously, he came and scored straight from the tactical switch in the last game, so it seemed to suit him better than we thought. Um, trying to build something here slowly. I just found with Griezmann, he was really good in front of goal, um, but that medium medium work rate just didn't quite do it. Um, some medium medium players, you know, like Joao Felix, they they still move, they they find space, but Griezmann just was very static in the middle. Didn't suit my play style. Um, in that cam position, lovely ball into Carrasco, and we go one nil up. We pause the game here just to swap the tactics uh, around. We made a bit of a mess of the pre-game tactics on this one. Put Beckham further up the pitch. Took the young out of the lamb. Um, and we're back in. So we're picking up the next clip here. The opposition's equalised. We're at 1-1. Looking for that next goal to get us back in the lead. Beckham with his lovely passing. Heel to heel from De Jong into Carrasco. Kunde, De Jong again, just working the space. See, so Griezmann did move more in the striker position, I must admit. Fights through there, look at that. Bullies his way past Kunde, who's a very good centre-back that we all know. Showing that dribbling and the aggression there on the card. And I must admit, striker position did suit him better, but still that pace came into play. Here we go again, 2-1 up. Griezmann with a stop turn. Finding Carrasco. Looking for the space. Carrasco's going forward, who we will do a review on because he's very nice. Griezmann stop turn. How's he missed it, boys? On his weak foot, the six yard box. That weak foot coming into play. Should have been a goal. Picks it up here though on the left foot. That's a good effort, good save. So here we go, picking it up, getting a bit frustrated here, which is 2 1. Still in the lead, but should be, should be 3 1 up at least. Brilliant save there by Testegen. Kept us in it. Back up the other end, Griezmann. 1 2 with Carrasco. Carrasco's made that run over the top. Kunde's out pacing there, blocked him off. Lovely. All the opposition's made a mistake, they're into Bex. Griezmann with the off the ball run, turns. That dribbling. That dribbling really does help. Stop dead. Round the opposition and finesse to the top corner. Looks like we're going to pick up a win here. Um, yeah, he, he had some great moments for us, uh, Griezmann. He really did. But that's the problem. They were just great moments. It wasn't constant. He didn't have that pace that, unfortunately, we know that you need this year. Um, we did get us, he did get us a few goals and a few assists in the club. But is he worth the 400k? I'm going to say no. He's not worth the coins. 400k for the investment is quite a lot, although it can get upgraded. Um, 8.2 overall I've given him um, simply because he didn't have the stats to, to fill a position to the full. What I mean is striker, he moved more, great, but he wasn't fast enough and he didn't have that weak foot that you need this year. You need to be able to burst past the defenders and in cam he had the pass in um, but the movement just wasn't there. Um, so overall I would say cam's his best position. If you're going to stick him there, yes play him in the weekend league but worth the coins, no. I'm going to say there's a few upgrades on that pace away from being really, really elite. Thanks for the watch, boys. See you next time. Peace.